Hey, this is Chris at Talon Gaming. Today we're looking at a game developed and published by Flavorworks. It was released on PS4 in 2019 as well as iOS and PC in 2021. Erica is a full motion video game where you choose your own path. If it was a movie, it'd be considered a bit of a thriller and features a unique, seamless, interactive environment. This is a single player game available for PS4, iOS, and PC. Playing as the title character Erica, who is having nightmares about her murdered father and drawn into a dangerous narrative where nothing is quite as it seems. It's similar in style to many of the full motion video games of the 90s, such as Phantasmagoria, Police Quest, Night Trap, and Dragon's Lair, if you remember any of those. Unfortunately for lovers of the genre, the popularity of full motion video games dropped off with the improvement of in-game CGI, but there's certainly still a place in our hearts for more. System requirements are pretty light, requiring only a dual core processor and Windows 10. You want at least a GTX 970 or RX 390, as well as 37 gigs of available storage. The game allows you to choose your own path by selecting your dialogue and making your own decisions, and in doing so, help the main character forge your own direction and influence the progression of the story. It's essentially a choose your own adventure. Erica features a unique interactive environment. For example, you can swipe open a Zippo lighter and then flick the flint to light it, and then proceed to move the lighter over to ignite a lamp and then turn the dial on the lamp to adjust the flame. It's kind of neat. You can open drawers to reveal its contents, look at photos. You can move furniture out of the way. You can open doors, latches and levers. You can turn knobs, dials and keys. You can even play along on a piano. During the course of the story, you'll be presented with what looks like a fogged over screen. Here you'll need to move the cursor to start revealing what is beneath. At this time you'll see a memory or event relevant to the story. Erica is also plagued by nightmares and is forced to relive certain traumatic moments from her childhood. Okay, are you ready? The game features real cinematography with very little computer graphics. The seamless integration between the interactive and full motion video is done in a fantastic manner. The settings are quite detailed and work nicely with the story. The lighting and camera work appear as if they were in a small budget feature film. While it doesn't appear to be big budget, the content here is well put together and done in a very professional manner. My only complaint here is that the video seems to have been presented in a lower resolution, maybe 720p, and at times you can see the video artifacting on the screen. That being said, it's a fairly minor thing, but could be approved upon in future games. The sound effects in game all feel real and match the visuals on screen. The music is very well chosen and performed very nicely. There are contributions from a large ensemble of artists, all of which fit the game quite well. I was very impressed with the vocals and instrumentals throughout. I did notice at times that the voices were not recorded as well as it could have been. You can hear that something isn't quite right, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe an echo or that the size of the recorded environment doesn't quite match what you see on the screen. I think most of the actors did a really good job, with a big nod to the main actress, Holly Earl. Her portrayal of Erica was quite good and breathed a lot of emotion into the game. I felt that she helped make a connection between the player and the story. Now, I wouldn't say that any of the actors were bad, but I don't feel they were all up to the same level of performance as Holly's. My first playthrough took just under two hours, with the next taking just over an hour and a half. There are six different endings to the story to be experienced, and with various choices and decisions forging different paths through the game, you would expect to experience different aspects of the story in subsequent playthroughs. You would be right. There's certainly more to the story than you will see in any single playthrough, and I would suggest playing through several times to get the most from it. The story isn't quite as fleshed out as some other games, but when you consider how short the game is, it's not too bad. Overall, I thought the story was interesting and had some nice twists and turns to keep you on your toes. I enjoyed it. The touch video technology system on display here makes for a very interactive experience. I didn't find it as intuitive as I would have liked, but after the first play through the game I got myself sorted. I found that from time to time it just wasn't super clear on where you should be or shouldn't be swiping across the screen. I also found that the main menu would often select adjacent options when the cursor appeared to be elsewhere. Minor inconvenience but certainly noted. If you could stare into the fire and see the future. What do you think you'd see? 
Let's start by saying that this is not a game that you would buy with the expectation of getting many, many hours of enjoyment from. What you do get here is to be considered a party favor or something to share with friends on a Friday night in place of a movie. I played through the game several times, and although much of the footage and dialogue were common, there were significant portions of the game that were different. I ended up with completely different endings at times with only minor changes in my decision making. It's quite interesting and made me question what I believe from playthrough to playthrough. This certainly isn't a game for everyone. It's a mildly paced thriller, not a horror by any means. The story is interesting and fun to play but not enough to write home about. The price of $10, well you can't complain about that and I think anyone who fondly remembers full motion video games from the 90s or hasn't ever experienced one should give it a go with a friend and see where the story takes you. As always, thanks for watching everyone. We appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this right through to the end. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. This is Chris from Talon Gaming, signing out.